what we can imagine, we can create. And I know in my sporting days, and I know there's other sports people in this room too, um, we all use our visualisation. One of our top downhill skiers, um, who actually won an Olympic gold medal, would sit at the top of the mountain and she would visualise skiing perfectly down the slope because there's no margin for error. So she could see where she was going. So, I don't know whether most people use it. A lot of people don't use their imagination for harnessing what they want to achieve. So, we're going to have a little bit of fun now. I want you to all stand up and find a space in the room where you won't hit anybody by turning your arm like that. There's plenty of room down the back. So what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that your feet are firmly planted on the floor. And you're not allowed to move your feet. So it's place pull out. Is everyone committed to place pull out? Yes. yes. And all I want you to do is to turn it as far as you can with keeping your feet totally on the floor. And just see how far you can put your hand back. No, no, no. Close your eyes. And I want you to imagine right now that you're putting your arm out. And I want you to imagine that you're putting your arm out, you're turning it, and it's going even further than where you did it then. Because your body is so flexible. You can stretch that arm all the way around in your eyes. And I want you to put your hand out in front again. And I want you to do that exercise one more time and see how far you can get your hand around. And then you can come back. Now, did anyone notice a difference? Mm -hmm. Yes. And did anyone, yeah, you might notice that you could put it further? <laughs> yes. So we have a part of the brain, it's called the reticular activating system, and what it does, it actually has to filter all that information, and it filters the information so that we come out with only 136 bits which, which is plus, plus or minus two chunks of information. So you may notice that telephone numbers, not mobiles, but landlines are seven digits long. It's been said that as humans we can remember about seven plus or minus two things. So two million bits of information comes in through our senses, into our nervous system every second of our lives. And it's actually been said it's more like seven million. But it's a heck of a lot. So do you think there's a big difference between 7 mm -hmm. and 136 bit or 7 plus or 2 minus chunks of information? So perhaps it will explain why everybody will have a different experience in life. Everybody in this room will go away today with a different experience because some people are more visual. Some people aren't very auditory, so they will perhaps say, oh man, you talk to me. Um, other people will like certain bits, like on a couple of videos, so people that are visual. Some people might like a couple of exercises where I get you to get in touch with the feelings. So we all process information differently. Now how we process the information, it's like we have a filing cabinet in our brain or a big sieve. And the sieve or the filing cabinet has files in it. And the beliefs that we've had in our past have caused us to have the results we have in our lives right now. Um, our values, which we got from school, environment, um, religion, friends, the networks we, we socialise with, and values which are very important because it determines our focus in our life. I'm going to talk about those in particular in, in the full day workshop. Um, our memories, which have got emotions and feelings attached to them. Again, I'll be addressing those in the next one. And our language. So the language that we say to ourselves is very important. Now, Oprah Winfrey was... I was reading about her why that um, was brought up in poverty and she says the only reason that she knew there was anything else outside the world she was brought up in was because of the books she read so it gave her a bigger reference point in her vocabulary to realise and learn that there was more so there's a, a thought that said if you ever want to increase your wealth in life you have to start reading and researching and reading the language of investing, shares, whatever it is, of, of wealth and finances. Mm. And on the energy level, it actually dissipates. And when you're up, way, way, way up in the air, I'll get you to imagine that you're looking to your car, 
Why do we have to be 
be right. Who says it's right anyway? There's usually more than one way to get there. But we become boxed in by our own beliefs, by our own thinking. So sometimes you may be doing everything right in communication. You may be using the pictures, the sounds, the feelings, but they may not get it. Because of what's going on in their world. And that's where we have to, you know, the more that we use this tool, the more we can become masterful at seeing what's going on. And later, later today, we're going to do some questioning, you know, how do you get the information that you want? And that's what we'll be looking to do. We might put this into practice. This is all very well me telling you. And the one thing to take away is you have to practice this skill. So this is your challenge now. In a moment, but not yet, I'm going to ask you to partner up. And I suggest as it's about communication, you find someone that you haven't met today. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I'm going to give um, I'm going to give you just a minute each, and I want you to the first person is just going to talk about something. You can describe your house. You can describe a holiday that you went on. You're going to start off doing your best that you can using visual words to describe something you love in life, your house, your holiday. Then, when I say change, you're going to change to auditory words. Because if you don't practice it here, you're not going to take it out. You'll also find that one is much easier than the other. When I did this years ago, I had an immense difficulty describing my house in, in one of the I wanted to. But I suggest you pick something that you enjoy. Holidays, family, whatever you want to do. It's just like that. The telephone is really out of time to do something. Some of you may have felt uncomfortable. Well, this is what happens in life when we're out and about. So your thing is to 